Previously on Poker After Dark. I can't help it if you play bad. <laughs> did you hear what he did? you just say something to me about how bad I played? <laughs> I told you, I got the trap on. There's nothing you can do about it. Breathe in, breathe out. Welcome to Poker After Dark. I'm Shauna Hyatt. After two nights of poker, we've still got six top pros battling for a $120,000 winner take all. We've got a feisty group of players for you Gus Hansen, Phil Helmuth, Sean Chacon, Annie Duke, Steve Z, and Huck Seed. Let's get back to the action. Did she say feisty? Yeah, feisty. 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 Steve Z. And, and, and Mr. Steve Z, the lines are three and six hundred. Love for all of you. And I was Buttons on Phil Helmut. Didn't I just proclaim my love? <laughs> Steve, you're funny. I saw what I got. You know, you know Mar Mary and I have been swinging through the trees in Costa Rica together. Mary's one of with our Gavin, dealers. With Gavin, among others. Gavin. Gavin Smith. Who's he? Mr. Smith. Mr. Smith. Right, Smith and Jones, alias Smith and Jones. To he might be one of the worst players in the world. Well, he's had a, a very good, successful tournament record. I race. In recent race. times. That's 4,000 more. Bill's tuned in now. 4,000 more for him to call. I don't think I can get away from this. I, I felt like I was setting this up. How can I possibly bail? Could this be one of the, another one of those unsuccessful fill the traps? The ropers? I think for now we should let him think, give him a break. He's had a tough day. It's only one decision. There's only one decision left, so. Yeah, you. Yeah, we shouldn't say no. So then you think we should just try and. You know, you're going to fall out of the love category if you keep that up. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. <laughs> Steve is sticking that. up for Phil. Hey, Sean, would you please mind this time? Please, please be quiet. Yeah. So, 4,000 more, huh? Please be quiet so I can talk. <laughs> Is this the way it's going to be every tournament uh, out here, or what? It only Seriously. Gets, it only gets worse from here. I mean, I could see if you said, please be quiet so you can stop and think, you know what I mean, Phil? But then you started going on and on. I mean, talking about 4,000 better, we all know about. Maury, are you going to give penalties for the shit, or what? <laughs> he made he, he he made it he decided for three minutes no one said one word we all walked over there is this is this a mori is this the way it's going to be or not we i want to know we can be quiet Sean if you and can, the feistiness Phil. just went up a notch we, we increased the feistiness no i want to know because you know i played poker for 20 years and never has someone just like blatantly talked as much as this when i have a key decision it's ridiculous i haven't said a word phil what are you talking Maury, about is this the way it's going to be Maury Escondani is one of the executive producers of Poker After Dark. Because, I, because you know what? I might not play in another one if it's going to be like this, all right? You understand? <clears throat> this is not this poker. Go down the tubes. When you have a, I'm trying to play. make a tough decision for all my chips. I'm pretty sure I'm going to go with it. And I've got him talking and him talking. And 
Everybody's joking and, and people laughing. People are laughing. It's just horrible. People are having it's horrible. fun. Well, you think, and, you know, it's you, think, you, think, you think I'm kidding, huh? No, I don't think you're kidding. Good, good, because I'm not kidding. So, yeah. so what penalties can we put in place so that when a man has a study for all his chips, people can shut up? Just ask him. I mean, I'm really, I'm not upset. I might sound upset. Just I'm not upset. Just ask give me a little bit. That's all. Just ask me a little bit. I did that. They do it. They do it. I said, please. do it. I mean... I didn't, I didn't hear the please word, but if you say please, I, hey, I yeah. won't say a word. No, no Maury, I want to know what you have I, in place for next I, time. I, I, Gus, you can verify that I tried to clear it. And what happens if I ask and, and they continue to, to talk? Just kill time? Wait until they just kill time? Wait until they stop. No, then you just have more time for the decision. I'm not playing anymore if that's the way it's going to be. I mean, that's not poker. Let's have a moment. Dude, of I can't use my fulfill. reading abilities in poker anymore. <laughs> reading, they abilities. Talk to it. <laughs> reading abilities? <laughs> Damn, I gotta get Why a drink. Why don't you shut the up? I gotta get a drink. Can you say that on TV? That's out of line, Phil. Right. You're out of line. And you're too say, stupid to know I it. I didn't say a word to you. You're just jumping down my throat for no reason right now. For no reason? For no reason. You got, you're playing bad, you got a losing hand, and you're just trying to get some TV time. Mock your hand, idiot. <clears throat> Maury, what are you going to do about this? Seriously. You know, instead of this ramble, you should do like a... You hang out with the girls. One of those tag team wrestling things. But Maury, i got to tell you, I've been you playing know, poker 20 years. So I don't know how many times it's happened to me where I'm making a decision for my chips and everybody talks. Like zero <laughs> times. Now, I asked them to shut up. I've made $20 million on my reading abilities and understanding the future. Reading abilities. <laughs> And now I gotta, and now, and now I gotta get insulted about that too, right? Reading ability. This is gonna cost me the pot again, Sandy. She's moving with any ace. I already know that. I set it up. I'm sitting here with ace ten. I, I can't even make a decision anymore. This is bull. Now, now I have to let her win the pot with ace eight because I can't think it out, right? What do you think set him off? Playing bad. He's, play, he's playing bad. He can't stand it. Just throwing his money away with ace, eight, ace, ten, whatever he had. And he knows he's beat by Annie because, you know, she raised come over the top and she ain't going to go all in with nothing. So he's just trying to find an excuse to cause a ruckus for no reason. She, she, sh she showed her hand. He's a baby. He's worse than a two year old. Hey, Mike Massa. They belong in the same school, same class. Do you think? He's out of line. Telling me to shut the f up is way out of line. Cause I, I mean, I didn't say anything that anybody else didn't say. She, what? She, you're getting a hand. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, excuse me, I'm getting a hand. Nice song. To Things you. finally no, boiled no, over no, from no, earlier no, this no, week no, between no, Phil no, Helmuth no, and Sean Chacon. Okay, there's only one guy that was unbelievably out of line in that situation. So let's just play. And now, by rule, the action will continue without <laughs> Phil. By, uh, by the way. The blinds will be posted for him People if he does not shirts. return. Weren't out of line. <laughs> People who think sure it's weren't out of line? The, the, the people with full tilt badges weren't out of line. <laughs> so. I never said a word. I mean, I don't see anything that you guys didn't say. You started all the trouble by raising Yeah, I know. That's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. We'll see if Phil comes back in a moment. Welcome back to Poker After Dark. We just saw Phil Helmuth storm out of the room after the table got really under his skin. For now, Phil's being dealt out until he returns. Although Phil is out, he's still receiving cards and they're being folded on his behalf. Are we playing behalf. down here or what are we doing here? We're waiting are we, for we're just, are Is we he on a penalty? I guess he just walked out, so go ahead. I think he decided he's not playing in any more of these. Deal, deal him in and we'll fold a hand. He's not going to allow us to Did he leave? Anyway, did, go ahead and we're supposed to play? Is he crying? Tell him to tell him, cry my shoulders. Did you do anything, Husk? No. Did you do anything, Husk? Not yet. I mean, okay. Fold. I don't know. I don't think he's coming. It's his choice. He's not coming back. He knows what's going on. Are we supposed to wait for him? I mean, after I, that? I, I just, I just know play. I played a six-handed tournament. $120,000 buy-in for each. And I had my 10,000 big blind, and they didn't wait five seconds for me to get back to the table. So Really? That was the sickest thing I've ever seen. They didn't wait five seconds for me to get back. You waited a good couple of minutes, you know. Yeah. 
And it wasn't even as blind. Oh, I didn't show them to the camera? I didn't it's, show them to I mean, myself? if they tell us to stop playing, I guess we stop. God, man. I can't believe you went off on me like that. That's, that's strong. I don't know I what mean, happened you know, there. you know what's weird is what I could see you He was never going to call with the hand anyway. I could see you. He was. That's all just TV. Thinking. No, he might have. I mean, he might have. He no, he wasn't. There was no way he was calling. Ace 10 officer, I think. Both red. Even in absentia, Phil is the center of yes, attention. Semi suited. It's like a semi over pair. But I mean, the thing is, it's the threat that he's not going to play in any more of these is like so strong, we have to yeah. take it seriously. <laughs> he moves people. I don't know well, why this, he got so upset, this is going to give him some good television time, at least. You know, I assume that's what. Raised to 1700. Phil and Mike Matisau treat televised right. poker like wrestling. I don't. I don't even know what started that. That was the weird thing. He, he just jumped. He just blew up on crazy. me for no reason. He was mad because you outplayed played him. Weird. That's exactly what it I was. We just like have one package weird. only, correct? Yeah. It's weird. It's after dark now. The unofficial PAD theme song by Gus. But I'm not, I don't know exactly what set him off as a thing. Did you say something in particular? Or he just no, started he You guys heard what I said. I was here in front of you guys. I didn't say what. No, but I was kind of involved in the hand, so I wasn't really listening until he started, until he started speaking. I didn't say anything that you guys didn't yeah. say. I started out with saying, this is oh, I just one, one, of, funny, one of these unsuccessful fill traps. Oh, right, 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 right. <laughs> he went off on me. Everyone, we were all picking on him. I mean. mm -hmm. It was a little nitpicking, but I, I mean, it, it, it is poker so. after dark. Okay. Huh? I don't want to hang him off. I want to bust him personally. Shiki <laughs> speaking with Maury Eskandani, one of our executive producers. I want to bust his ass. Is he going to come back, Maury? Uh... Phil has been known to miss the beginning of tournaments, but like, never uh, the middle. X-22 with his oh, rainbows. And you learned a lot of stuff from him. Four of each. And... We went to the same school of poker. Did he put in... Uh... He put it's in right, 20. it's right, it's right. Yeah. Looked like he put in three... Put in three uh, Didn't you reds. only put in three reds? You didn't... You yeah, so you won one, one more hundred. I had 900 out there. 800, 800 out there. Oh, one more hundred? Yeah. See, why do I think I had nine? I don't know. I mean, I have to do everything myself. The dealer, the team, the entire staff and cameras don't help me. No, I got my job covered, Steve. Where is Phil? It's cool Look enough, it. I guess. Let's go. Cool. We'll come back check, and check. just check, check. easily win the whole thing. <laughs> Steve has the best hand with a pair of fours. How much is it? 35? 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. Okay. I guess. I guess I should let you have it. Now that hand I played badly. No, I'm going to be embarrassed to see it when it comes on television. You'll be embarrassed. You're going to turn red. Yeah. <laughs> you see this? <laughs> I see what a guy you are. You're going to hate this sheet. And it was everyone's fault because they kept talking. I didn't get any quiet. For your consideration, Steve Zolotow has Phil Helmy. Lines up to 400, 800. Welcome. Yeah, just staying on top of you, you know. This is actually a clever maneuver on Phil's part because now he's going to outlast two players. Yeah. 
<laughs> he might not. I mean, those 5,000 isn't going to go that far. I mean. Yeah, I guess if they go up one more time. Sean has the nut flush draw. Can also hit a five to make a straight. Huck can hit a three to make a straight. Sean has made a five high straight. Huck makes two pair, fives and fours. You're playing circles around this, Shika. It's so hard and bad, sometimes it's embarrassing. man you are. You're a beauty. Welcome back to NBC's Poker After Dark and welcome back Phil Hellmuth. He's gonna come back and apologize to the table. <laughs> <laughs> we go <laughs> Oh. It's after dark now and this new land is cruel. Me apologize? Is that what you said, Gus? <laughs> You're smarter than that, I think. I, I do want to say something. Yeah. Here, I'm ready. <laughs> Camera, lights, action. I've got something to say. It's better to burn out than to fade away. What movie is that from? You have like a <laughs> brat. <laughs> yeah, it's like a brat. So what happened? I've been playing poker 22 years in poker tournaments. I've never, I've never ever seen it in 22 years where you didn't, where, where the table wouldn't shut up. In 22 years. I've never walked out of a poker tournament in the middle before. I left once or twice after or in between things. And that was, that was a bunch of BS. You know, Sean Chacon is not only a poor loser, but he just, he won't shut up. But it wasn't just Sean, it was everybody. I mean, I mean, I it's like a word. Why are you picking on me, Phil? You play back, you want to blame your, your bad play on me? You're way out of line. We'll be able to have you. Can, I, can I talk, Sean, or do you want to come up here and say something? Me, you play it bad. You want to, you want to look at your hand, Wait a minute. I do want to look at my hand. Well, I told, look I told, at it. I told, I told you. Because we can TV time. We play poker, bro. You understand me? Sit your ass down and play poker. Sean, you're, 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 you are, you're the worst yeah, ever. All right? Well, how long does he get to wait, more? You want your hand or not, Phil? We're on a clock, right? The blinds are going up, right? So. Can you I stop thought, the clock? I, I, thought, I was told that if I came over here, Annie, can they stop the clock? are you trying to, are you, you want you to understand the rules? I wanted to stop the clock. You can Do you take understand as, the rules? You can take as much time as you want. Do you understand want. the rules? I can take as much time as I want. No kidding. Don't so what, yell at me. I want to say? know if they're stopping the clock while you're talking. Okay, that's a fair point. That's all that I want to know. Okay, that's all that's I fair. said. Are they stopping the clock while he's taking his time to look at his hand? That's all. Good what thing Phil that? regained his composure. Yeah. Thank you. Nice okay, then I don't really care. Go on. Can I get a diet? Well, I mean, this is this 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 is more this is more like the Worldwide Wrestling Federation. You know, I mean, look at this guy. You you got the she got cheeky way out of line here, and it's getting ridiculous. I mean, this this is this is not poker anymore. It's it's like it's like the Worldwide Wrestling Federation. Well, why don't you get back there and play some cards? Are we gonna play poker? Can when I when I have a when I have a big decision? I would love to watch you play cards. I would love to actually play the game and not and not and not have it be the Worldwide Wrestling Federation. All right. Well, good luck, Phil. I think this explains it all. If you were to compare this to any sporting organization out there, what would it be? Oh my God, you're good, Andy. Thank you, thank you, we'll come back thank you. I have many talents. Didn't know that about you. We'll come back. Okay. Thanks. We'll Mommy. come back, though. Thank you, Mary, thank you. Mary, you should know that when you have three children, you're used to making peace in these little family squabbles. Peace in the village. Everybody's happy. Uh, we've already dealt. We're in the middle. Raised to 1,700. Is that legal? I don't think so. Yeah, 8 to 17. 16? It's advanced math, but 
It's eight yeah, to seventeen. It just, it just seems so low. Yeah. Some of the best minds in the generation have been working on it for years, and they can't figure it out. I couldn't. Great, glad great to mathematicians. I'll give me some science. Pain, I got it. <laughs> so what? I, I, I can't be helpful. No. Steve. You can, you can you be don't ever want to see a shit get political, do you? You can be seen, but not heard. Sean, you got what you wanted, Sean. I mean, you know, you, I you, did. Get, to, you get to look like more of a jerk on national television. You can't ask yourself on national TV, meanwhile. Well, well, Gus has two uh, over cards uh, and an inside straight draw. I didn't say one word. Ask the whole table. They'll agree that I didn't say one word to you. It, it, not one. Like right now? Phil, Phil and Sean, it will, it will be on TV. And he's two threes are still best. And see who was out of line. That's mind. right. All I ask for is that the decorum of poker and the rules and the etiquette is followed. That's all I ask for. Can you say unreasonable? I think I really played this hand poorly, so. I, I played it bad because I didn't realize it was, I, after all the talk, I didn't know it was 800 out there, so. I just misraised. And you guys are all world class players, right? I made the mini right? raise. It yeah. worked out. And I mean, you guys are I made all more money players, because right? of it, but. Well, well, there was so much distraction. Is that what's going like, on? I need a cocktail waitress over here. There was Let's a do lot a of, shot. Sean, there was a lot of distraction, you know. <laughs> See, so that's what distracted. Phil is talking about. A lot of distraction. You just can't Can think I have a cocktail straight, waitress? So please be Send quiet. two. Yeah, right. I want a white I'm, Russian, please. Uh, With I'm an umbrella? It, however, even when it, is quiet, I, it was so completely my fault, however. I hope this all makes the show. Exactly so the too. way it happened. You're gonna feel so bad about yourself afterwards. If, if this doesn't make yes, the show. Yes, damn, that was really it. No, I hope it all makes the show. It's not cut some clever way. Careful what you wish for, Phil. That's what I hope. Hi. Hi. How is that are the you? key to your heart? This is the key to my heart. This is me and my boyfriend. Yeah. If you had, you know, Annie, if you had a bad ace there, you got lucky that all that erupted. I didn't even have a chance Phil, to study it. Phil, I had you buried, and you weren't ever calling. What are you, so. just, what are you even answering him? Um, these are all my children. So this is this is Maude, Leo, Lucy, and Nellie, and there's my heart with them. Well, those Four are, kids. Those yeah. are all your children. They look yeah. like little charms. I know. You should get the real children. So I, I wear this every day, and I. Can't. He's the sweetest guy in the world. When I have my um, little girl, you give me a little card. Oh. Very sweet. Of you. Anyway, I wear this every day and I keep she gets a little my little heart. I need a white Russian, please. Yeah. Make it a double. Looking for it. What's what's he drinking? The whole table gets to know. It's your big one. No. It's just, Hi, Phil. It's too sweet for me. Sean, you, you have no class at all, dude. No. Really? Yeah. You're Here we right. go again. Yeah, a lot I of I handle class. myself well about 98% of the time. You handle yourself well about 2% of the time. That's a big difference. Yeah. Here. Hi, Paul. Well, wait, wait. Let's talk about this hand right before you see the flaw. Let's talk about this hand right here, Phil. Are you in the lead right now or not? Let's talk about this. Let's talk about the hand before you lose. Oh, you might get, you might suck, I don't know. You might get lucky. God knows. Where's the rope at? Where's that rope at, guys? Are you going to be a poor winner again? I'm a poor loser. You already said that on TV. I got to play the when part. When we get a break? Well, he's already established that he wants to talk about it before the flop. Let's so talk about the hand. Is, I mean, this is your hand. This is my hand. Who's in the lead right now, Phil? Spades. He's, he's leading in spades. He is. He, right. No, he's yeah. leading in straight possibilities. I have straight draw, too. Straight draws, yeah. Yeah. I'm leading in the high sped category. He's leading in over cards. If it was only, what is the, what is the game where the high sped gets half the pot? If we were only playing I think that this game. hand is like a That would be six. Chicago, Steve. Three to one? Yeah, I think that's about right. If I did There's my math the right. There's the five. Well, now the clubs are coming. And then the middle straights. I got a straight over here going. Yeah. You got the straights going. Six of clubs would be a gen card for me. Ace of clubs would make six it exciting. Six of clubs. What? Well, that's I think kinda, that's a gym card. That was kind that's of a gym card. That's not Phil Helmuth has been eliminated with that there, card. So. The river doesn't matter. And there's now a double white Russian well, up for always. grabs. Steve, my pleasure. We'll get him next Maybe time. he'll offer that's it to bear. Sean. Good to see you, Phil. Hey. Hang in there, buddy. And now we have a break I, like, I love the way you're playing. Okay. Thanks, Don't Phil. tell anybody any of your hands, all right? We have to share it? Yeah. Is it particularly frustrating mm -hmm. with everything that went down with Shiki to go out now? Yeah, well, you know, I mean, that's just the way it goes. I picked up an ace in the small blind and uh, ace five, and I just moved on. I mean, it's just a standard normal play. 
<clears throat> he happened to have two sevens. He had the best hand and it held up. Do you think this will carry over with Shiki in the future? Probably not. I mean, you know, I mean, it's, uh, you know, you see Mike Madison and Shiki go at it each other. They're pretty good friends. But, um, <clears throat> I mean, he, 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 cost, he crossed quite a few, quite a few borders there that, you know, were, I felt like were inappropriate. Um, so, so what are your final thoughts on the table? Well, I will not play in another one of these if, unless they fix the rules. So, um, I, I like the way I like the way that Huck's playing. He's playing a really good game. Gus has a lot of patience. Gus is playing a good game. He has a good shot too. A Annie Annie's playing a pretty good patient game too. I, I think I think that if Huck continues to play strong poker and move at the right time, he's got a great okay. chance to win. What rules do you want to change? Well, I mean, I, like I say, in 22 years of playing poker, mm -hmm. in 22 years of playing poker, I mean, I've never had to leave a tournament. It's, it's, it, when you call a floorman over for people talking in the middle of a pot, mm -hmm. those people are disciplined instantly and told that they can't talk or they're going to get a penalty. But that's, you know, it's like, it's like playing at a golf tournament and having someone, like Tiger's on the tee and someone shouts during his backswing. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, that guy would be kicked off the golf course immediately. So I mean, it's, it's very similar to that to explain to the viewers at home. Well, hopefully we'll see you back here at Poker After Dark. Well, we'll see. I mean, as long as the rules are, 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 are correctly enforced, I'll be back. Thanks, Phil. Okay. Tiger, you want to sweat me now? Tiger. Welcome back to Poker After Dark. We're deep into this exclusive table of top pros, but we've still got five of the six players left. One of these players is going to have to make a move soon if they want to win the $120,000. Lines are four and eight hundred. Gus is the short stack with under 15,000. He's on the button. Sean is the chip leader with over 36,000. No. I know it makes sense anyways. Why would I want to be heard? And he has the best hand with ace high. Check, check. Two thousand. Check and check. Turn, please. You got it, lady. Thank you. And he wins seventy-two hundred dollars. You got it. Thank you. You got it. You got played me with your ace high. <laughs> you know, I can only play when I'm dealt. Sometimes it's only ace high. Without Phil, things are a little more peaceful now. You made a good call for the 2000 or whatever it was. Yeah. Get on the board. You know, playing a chic is not easy. I know. I'm proud of myself. 2000. Steve Z has the best ace. Check. Gus can make a straight with a deuce. Nineteen seventy five. 
fun. <laughs> <laughs> we're meant to be too, but it's all right. A little discount. So I get to save a quarter if I play this hand. Okay. Feels like you had a four. How good are you? Well, Sean's the one in the chip lead with Huck C to just you know over 33,000, while Steve trails the pack at just under 13. You're talking about me again? Steve. What is it? I didn't pick him up, I right? So beautiful. Yes. Um, show your cards a little more to the left. Okay. Steve, why are you such a troublemaker? First you make Steve, mm. first you make Phil, storm out of the room to the hotel. Oh, I thought that was Sean. Now you can't. No, that was mainly Sean. It was mainly Sean. <laughs> yeah. Now you can't Blame show your sheep. poker. You're just a troublemaker. You just foment Blame trouble everywhere you go. I've spent 40 years of playing poker trying to conceal my cards from anybody, <laughs> yeah. and now I have to try and show them. The old habits die hard. I understand. 2,000. Annie's on the button. Seven. Make it seven thousand. Can't let him walk all over us. True that. True that. True that. True that. Where's the net from, Street? Yeah, from the streets, from the hood. The hood where I grew up. <laughs> the girls in the hood. Yeah. It's Ghetto Fabulous on NBC's Poker After Dark. You're watching NBC's Poker After Dark. Blinds are four and eight hundred. Sean Chacon is first to act. Shaka Khan. I've been called that before, Shaka Khan. That's why my nickname is actually Shaka Khan. 22. I can see where the Khan part comes from. I don't know about the Shaka <laughs> part. I've been called everything in the book. You took two and you yeah, only I know what one. I did. <laughs> take, take two, oh, they're small. small. Take two, they're small. Damn, can you sit down? Yeah, but you, Do you think I was trying to steal that? I have 14.8. What does that mean? I think he's going all in. That's what I have. That's my guess. He's going all in. You learned that from Steve Z? Um, Gus, 14.18? 14.8. Oh, 14.8, okay. You can go on. You just raise five. Yes. Players are making bigger and bigger moves as the blinds go up. I hate going all in. It's so definitive. That's true. Unless you really have the other guy crushed, then it doesn't matter. That's all right. Yeah, you know, well, I got a request to make. Next time these boys come count my money, they can't touch my stacks. Because I set them up in a lucky way where I'm running good and then mix them up, then I'm not then I'm lucky no more. Be serious, Shiki. Tell she won't be back in there. Hmm? Up showing. Gus has flopped a pair of fives. You got me, Gussie. I hit the five. I mean. You got me, bro. You gotta play the chic once again. I'm gonna take a small one. It's all right. Okay, y'all. Blinds were raised. This hand, six and twelve. Once again, a my small blind. Let's play a little move-in poker. Who's that voice anyway? Who's it, Phil? As opposed to moving in, let's play a little limp poker. Okay. It's the other Phil. Zolotow setting a trap. 
Bumbi. Action. Okay. You know, Sheik always cheats. You better check the Sheik. No, you better bad. shake his ass down real good. As Phil Helmuth would have said, I gave you guys all this rope and... Rope a dope, check. Uh, okay. I mean, it's gonna be... It's been slow in the beginning. We've had a lot of play, a lot of chips, small blind, but now they're going up all the time, so... I think it could be uh, pretty quick right now. I mean, I just moved all in the, the last hand. I had a pretty good hand, but... Um, I think we're going to see a lot of people starting to move all in. I mean, Huck and Sean has big stacks, but the me and Annie and Steve Z were a little low, so uh, there'll probably be some ramming and jamming pretty soon. So what do you do normally in this situation? Do you go after the small stacks or do you go after the big guns? Um, it kind of depends on, of course, my hand, mm -hmm. and it also depends on who's been the most active player at the table. If like people are playing tight, I'm not as likely to go after them, whereas Sean has been playing a little more hands or something. So it depends on the situation, really. So, we'll see. Good luck. Gus's interview with Shauna proved more exciting than Steve Z's aces. Gus, you missed that. I was giving them all rope to hang themselves, and they were too smart for me. Oh, my God. You showed it? I showed, see, I showed at least one ace and then at least one other ace. See, the last person talked about rope. We got hung. What is that? Now? Four thousand? That was a flop that could bigger. easily happen to me. That was a flop. Yeah. Real easy. We're playing high now. Noi. Noi. Good and talk. Two some time. No, I showed him to the camera. So I showed him to the camera, but I didn't show him to me yet. Well, I'm, I'm stupidly folding. No, why is it folding? Jack on. Hawks continues to add to his chip lead on NBC's Poker After Dark. Let's color up. Maybe I'll win the chip race. How could I, oh, we had some 50, we were Yeah, we had a 153. Yeah, I was just trying to think where the odd uh, 50 went. It's a big, big obstacle in the way. She's getting bumped. God, what can I, never pick up aces or kings or anything. Never, ever. Well, one thing we can say, Phil, tell me we've had all the big hands. Phil, I have a mute. He had the big hands and made the big scenes. Walkie, walkie. Walkie, walkie. I predict there will be no walk this hand, at least a limp. <laughs> at least no, a I'm limp. No, I might fold, I might fold. No I'm callers. Gonna, I'm gonna fold. Means Huck took, took that one. one of those things you predict what you uh, don't want to have happen. You'd like a walk, right? Ah, I do. Just I for you, I'm gonna fold this one. What's weird is they call them ground skinners, and yeah, I never knew where, where that term ground skinner came from. The Told you what I have every time. You gotta read on me. I so think because it skins the ground. You yeah, do. So we're about even. You told me two, I told you four. 500. <laughs> but yours were bigger tails, so they count for two. I mean, they yeah. count for two. So Back to square one. Should have never taught you how to play, guys. <laughs> 35. Back at that big old, big old house you guys used to have? The one you bought, you, you rented after that, yeah. I took over for like, now I'm gonna spot that house like 300,000. How much is it worth now? Probably I like to go over a million. Yeah. Because you yeah, had two pieces of property combined. That was a good spot, you should have bought it. I should have, I almost bought it. I, should, I wish I bought it. Yeah. Are you still in the tattoo business on the side or it's full time poker now? Family business. Family business. Huck, did you teach Gus to play? Not at my tattoo oh, shop. I got the biggest well, and the baddest tattoo shop in learning, Vegas, you know, as a matter of fact. Where is it? So. It's called Diversity. It's all over town. It's all it over town. It's hard for him to learn. Because it's think. diverse. It's in diverse so locations. It's in diverse <laughs> locations. <Somehow. laughs> there were some special poker playing, poker playing players so, back in those days. He's yeah. not just a poker player, but an ink peddler as well. 
Find out what else Shiki's up to when we return to NBC's Poker After Dark. So when I decide to break down and get a tattoo, can you give me a discount? I'll give you one for free. Oh, no. <laughs> then you'd pick it out, though. I know what you'd do. I'd have the Shiki tattoo. Go ahead. You guys have read on me, I think. I swear to God, it's the fourth time it happened. Big you got to tell on me, dog? Bigger read. Here, I have an eight. I can't show my hand. I promise I won't show my hand. Then don't. She can't get any pre flop action You're with Ace King. Yeah, I was included. That's right, you were. I didn't forget that. You were included. I mean, I included myself. You're always included. <laughs> Button on Gus. Hi, Shauna. Hi. That was sweet. Hi, Shiki. Hey, Natalie. <laughs> oh, Natalie. Hi, honey. <laughs> you guys, I had a tough decision to make and you were talking. That's really terrible. <laughs> Sorry. Deal them all out for a round. Easy, bro. My best chance to accumulate chips is if everyone leaves the table for a few hours. I sure wish they'd come in here and shoot the blinds up. We'll start doing that later. You boys see that? Yeah, see how bad they play? Minutes. I can't show it though. Shiki picks up 1,200 out of Annie's big blind. You know, I don't really feel right taking money from well, a get, uh, okay. classy lady. Well, just depends so does Annie do? You, you, you could have that money. My hand was uh, not good. I bet your hand was better than my hand. That's pretty bad, yeah. Mine was pretty ugly, too. Third, we had two breaks, right? So this is the third level. Whatever that oh, means. I don't know how many hands Bill, it is. Bill, do you know how many hands they've played already? 94. It's Total? So, so we're like halfway this is 94, down. 94, huh? right here. There's Phil right there, going home. Bye, Phil. One, two, three. He's still here? Yeah, he's still <laughs> crying. <laughs> he's still crying about it. What if he came over and punched me? What my ass? Which is it? What's the odds of that happening? 36. Not likely. Not likely? More likely on TV than not on TV, though. <laughs> <laughs> That's, 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 right. That's not so good. Only on TV would do that. Didn't Sam Grizzle whoop his ass one time? Was that really a true story? <laughs> I didn't see it, but... You heard about it? Yeah, that's true. Well, but he it was an unfair punt. He, like, cold cocked him. Like, it wasn't. Sam's a snappy dude. And that's our show for tonight. Tomorrow on NBC's Poker After Dark. Two sevens. Yeah, well, you would have been underdog. I had two sevens. <laughs> You're getting outplayed so far, guys. So far, I am. I'm going to try something strange. We got rid of all the bad players now. It's just the g geniuses left. I appreciate it, always. Thank you. Ay, ay, ay. How does he dodge these bullets?